A few weeks ago, I built this table saw rip fence. I'll put a link over here, also in the description. If you haven't seen that yet, you can go check that out. One of the questions that I get asked is, how do I make sure that it's aligned with the blade? Now, on a standard table saw blade, the kerf is an eighth of an inch. The teeth alternate, one sets to the right, the other sets to the left. So in this scenario, I have my table saw rip fence to the right of the blade and I want it cut that is 5 eighths of an inch. So I would take a tooth that is offset to the right and measure 5 eighths of an inch, set my rip fence. But I would take note of the measurement back here at the miter gauge, which is 6 and 1 eighth. I would then take that measurement and move it to the front, then do the same for the back. When all three measurements match, I know that my rip fence is aligned with the blade. Now that's how I've been setting my rip fence for years. But as we all know, there's a jig for everything. I have a threaded insert, a thumb screw, and a couple of miscellaneous screws. I have some scrap wood. This used to be a two by four that I ripped down to these three quarter inch thick furring strips. And this is a 98 cent wooden yardstick that I found in the paint section at my local home improvement store. First, I'll start with a rip cut. Second, I'll realize I didn't want to do that. Third, cut it down to size and have it dawn on you that it would have been better had I not done this step either. Fourth, accept that it's just going to be that kind of day. It would have been more intuitive had I just cut the dado first, but sometimes that's just the way it goes and you work around it, usually with a clamp. A little fine tuning. Now it's time to have an argument with this threaded insert. The yardstick will slide between the two pieces and I can set it to whatever length I want by tightening the thumb screw. Now I know on my setup, my blade is five and a half inches from the miter slot. So if I want a rip cut that's say one inch, I'll set my gauge at six and a half inches. As you can see, the rip fence gets pretty close on its own. Only a minor adjustment at the end. Homemade rip fence, homemade fence alignment jig. Sort of like ice cream and apple pie. Only you don't have to stick one of them in the microwave. <laughs>